What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Try to brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man. Around today, guys, I'll be talking about One Piece World Seeker and giving you guys all the information that you guys need to know about this game before deciding to pretty much purchase this game. So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken, get that Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because in UK, Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me to get on with it. So, first of all, I gotta start off by saying that One Piece World Seeker is a offline open world One Piece game centered around you using the only playable character in this game, Monkey D. Luffy. Yes guys, there will not be any of the Straw Hats. This game is centered around Monkey D. Luffy going around an island called Joe Island. Joe Island is the island that we will be going around. Joe Island is the main area that this game will be based in. So. All the questions about whether the other Straw Hats will be playable, you can already cancel that out because Monkey D. Luffy is the only playable character. Not only that, another thing to keep in mind is that this game will be getting its own original story mode with its own original characters that will be going around in this game. So this original story mode will be designed and done by Oda and when I mean designed I mean the island in terms of the design is done by Oda and I mean the original characters as well is done by Oda. So Oda is going to have a good amount of input on this game. So when it comes down to the story from a writing standpoint, it, I feel like it's going to be pretty good. Obviously, it could still flop, but it all depends on how much of an input that Oda has on this game. Obviously, they've said to us that Oda is going to have a big input on this game and he's had a big input on designing the original characters. So in my opinion, the story mode should be pretty good. And now that I've got all of that out of the way, let's talk about the... Uh, original characters or should I say the characters from the original series being in this game obviously in this game we will see the Vin Smokes we will see the likes of um, the Straw Hats we will see Saba we will see Rob Lucci uh, Crocodile Akainu we will see a lot of the characters that we do see in the series of One Piece and also we will see original characters in this game which I'm really looking forward to seeing so they're giving us a fresh look in terms of the story and they're giving us a fresh take in terms of adding new characters in terms of explaining to us what Gel Island is all about so in terms of that aspect I'm really excited to see that and uh, another thing I want to talk about is the gameplay the gameplay is a key feature into what is going to make this game and a lot of people are giving this game criticism in terms of the gameplay it being not that great it looking a bit clunky and based on seeing the latest trailer and in my opinion i feel like the gameplay is going to be pretty decent i feel like the game actually looks more fun than it did previously and i feel like when it comes down to the mechanics that they've added it fits perfectly that i do see the similarities between marvel spider-man and i do see the similarities that they've taken from Batman Arkham Knight as well. The reason why I'm saying this is the dodging mechanic. The dodging mechanic is used in a way that you're using observation hockey to slow down your opponent's attacks so that you can get out of the way of them. That is similar to using your spider your spidey senses in Spider-Man PS4 and that is similar to using uh, Batman's quick reflexes to dodge attacks as well. And the way it's done in this game is done pretty much similar but at a lower level. And another thing to keep in mind, I know a lot of people are talking about the night mode, the night vision thing where you can see enemies from a far distance. We can still do that in this game. And the reason why I'm saying this is they've done it in a way where you can see enemies from a far distance by using observation hockey. They've really, they really have implemented the fact that Luffy has the ability to use hockey in this game. And they really have done that into his attacks and also certain skills that we will be seeing in the skill tree which allows us to build up our character of Luffy and to allow us to, um, to take it to another level in terms of unlocking bigger moves, unlocking new forms, unlocking um, new ways to attack. Because since you're only using Luffy it only feels right to give us as much moves as possible because when you're using one character you gotta go in depth in terms of using that one character and i feel like they've done that with this game and also another thing that you gotta keep in mind is that this game will be coming out march 15th 2019 so if you guys want to get this game you gotta get it march 15 2019 and onwards and in my personal opinion 
I feel like this game, based on what we've seen so far, does look like a cop for me personally because I'm a big fan of One Piece. Another thing people need to keep in mind is that this game is a game that is not going to be as detailed as games that I've compared it to, such as Spider-Man PS4 and Batman Arkham Knight. Obviously, we, we do know that we will get side missions, so keep that in mind. Side missions will be in this game as well, but I'm not sure how many, and I'm not sure how often they're going to upload update, update this game. And another thing, I'm not really too sure about the Gamu Gamu bundle. I do know that you get a figure of Luffy, and I do know you get a Gum Gum statue, and also the game itself. And I do feel, in my opinion, that is not enough. For me personally to go out of my way to purchase the bundle because you guys know the bundles for these games are way more expensive i do see that there are some original costumes on the game as well i will pop up both of those stuff on the screen so you guys can check that out yourself and then come to the conclusion where you whether you feel like it's worth copying or whether you feel like you actually want to get these stuff in my personal opinion i'm liking what i'm seeing in one piece world seeker my major criticism my major criticism is the fact that this game is still empty in terms of seeing civilians in terms of seeing the people in jail island it does seem pretty dormant to me in certain areas and certain sections but hopefully that is just the woody areas because there are a lot of woody areas which does make sense to have less people but the towns and the cities in my opinion could be improved upon but as a whole guys i want to know what you guys think about this leave thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below and yeah let me just wrap up this video so please comment and subscribe I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please like, rate, enjoy this video, and yeah, this is UK, Chocolate Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.